our first battle making his way to the cage into the red corner. of the evening here at AON6 and this is the big one this is the lightweight tournament final these two guys fighting for 15,000 pounds I'm Jay Furness alongside me Aaron Chatfield Andre Winner versus Artem Lebov fighting for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow Winner's fought six hard rounds tonight Lebov had a tough fight in his last fight as well Won yep. a split decision over Alan McLean. Both guys battle one. 15 grand on the line, though. That's about as much incentive as you're going to need. Yeah, exactly. Both these guys will be so hungry for this. I mean, the boss known as a guy who'll fight anyone, anytime, anyway. Probably don't even need to pay the guy. But if you're offering to pay him £15,000, then, you know, he was in here like a shot. Winner was the favourite. He's made his way to the final. One finish, one decision, and uh, you know, on paper, people should be saying he's the guy to win it. But Arlen Lebov has upset the odds on more than one occasion. Yeah, he is the prospect killer. He's come in and beaten people that he was not supposed to beat. But this is probably one of the toughest fights of his career. Yeah, and we saw him really out hustle uh, Alan McLean. In, the, in his first round fight, he got a bye in the first round, so the second round fight, uh, and McLean really struggled to take him down. And uh, Lebov was landing the cleaner shots in the stand up. As he got more and more tired, he was eating more shots, and uh, it turned into a bit of a brutal battle, to be fair. And yeah, um, yeah he, he's put himself through the grinder, but he's got another fight here. And Andre Winner has had some slow starts, and he's got better and better as the fights have gone on. So, you know, let's see if it follows the same format. Well, it, it, it does start slow in the first round, he knows that that's the case. Um, but I think that might work in his favour here because Artem likes it when fighters come on to him. That's when he can pick them off with the, the uppercuts and the left hooks, etc. When a fighter's not doing that, it's harder for him to get those big shots in play. Yeah, and what Andre does really well is um, he uses his length, his straight shots, stays on the outside, keeps it at that range. And that's exactly where Lebov doesn't want to be. He needs to be on the inside to throw them uh, looping uppercuts and hooks. So if, uh, if Winner can stay nice disciplined, 
Ah, oh, but a nice uh, left up there, lands for Lobov. It's a low kick. We saw a lot of winners wrestling in the first round. Landed some big slams. It's a, a tentative start. In the yeah. first round, Lobov against uh, McLean, he came out and he was throwing everything at McLean. Credit to McLean for having a head of granite for even you know, going to the decision because uh, he ate a lot of shots. But this time it's uh, maybe a little bit better one from the first fight. Maybe uh, a bit more wary of winners striking and counter punching. You saw Winner there throwing really hard on the counter. Luckily all three of them shots missed. Yeah, Lobov went for that uppercut, left hook again, it didn't find its mark. As I say, if fighters don't press him, he doesn't get the same range, he, he, he doesn't land the shots as easily. Yeah, it, it does need the uh, the opponent to come in, try and close the distance and hit him, and that's when he that's when he strikes back. And he hits hard, you know, everything's from the hips, and you know, he's knocked guys out and stopped many, many guys. A big head kick there from Winner. Is Winner doing enough in this round to, to take it on the scorecard, do you think? Probably give him the edge just so far. If he gets his takedown, that would uh, certainly make a case for him. Trying to run the pipe on the single. Again, Lobov doing a good job. His, his, uh, his takedown offence are always really his kryptonite, but tonight he's looked spot on against a, a very good wrestler in Alan McLean. We're on and the uh, last minute of the first round now. Both of these fighters actually really difficult to take down, really difficult to keep down. Lobov went for a couple of takedowns with uh, McLean in his bout earlier on. Haven't seen oh, him. big oh. kick to the body. And uh, Lobov doesn't look hurt, but I don't know how. I don't. And he got winner going to the body again. I've never seen Lobov shown that he's hurt. So even if he has get caught, got caught, he wouldn't show it. I mean, the look of that kick looked like it could have uh, taken a few ribs out, but he just kept comes plodding forward. Totally unfazed by it. Oh, we're going to get the 10 seconds now. So this is really interesting because knowing what we know from Winner, he starts slow. That was his slow round and that was close. So has he got more in the gas tank here? If you look at um, Lobos' fight, actually he started dropping downhill in the later rounds. Again, winner back on that jab, keeping the range well, not letting the bob get in for them, uh, you know, all the weird stuff, as they like to call Head it. Kick again. We saw winner step it up in the second round in his last two fights. Big uppercut. Big uppercut, it landed hard. It's staggered winner. Winner. winner needs to close the distance because the bob is rallying. That was a big shot. That was cracking. Winner still struggling. He's breathing, Harvey. Yeah, he'll be happy to keep this distance for a little while. I think Lobov should break. Should break and come back with the shots. This is giving Winner time to recover. Yeah, Winner pummel for the underhook there and he's just going to hold Lobov nice and close. Just give him the time that he needs to recover. I mean, he's, he got clubbed hard there, did Winner. Yeah, it was a big shot. Good and that's the thing with Lobov, he's always got those, those single shots. Same with Winner, really. That would have been a fairy tale finish, wouldn't it? I mean, the Bob is probably the definition of wild card. Yeah. I mean, always so exciting to watch. You know, you know his style. It's an orthodox, and it seems to do his best work against the odds. Certainly, winner will not give him a rest, though. He knows that he can be hurt. Oh, big right hand. Oh, 
Oh, he swung that one. Looked like he was uh, picking grass up from the floor. <laughs> yeah. he, he really does loop in his shots. They're unorthodox. You could never say this is how you throw an uppercut. You know that's totally. That's not how you throw it, but it works for him. I, you know, they, they break through the guard because they, they're coming at angles that no one else throws punches from, and you know, that's why it's so successful. Correct. I, I don't think it it would be um, necessarily the, the best way for everyone to fight. They wouldn't teach beginners at our gym that way, but it works for above. <laughs> Reach down to your ankle, throw your fist in a big loop upwards towards the sky. If someone's face gets in the way of it, all the better. <laughs> and it's going to really hurt. So I think that, that uh, knockdown probably has given Lob off this round. Winner needs to do something here to stave that off. Yeah, most significant single shot of the fight, really. Winner needs his takedown. He's worked hard for it, but again, good defence from Lobov. He's got nice balance. Lobov going for the takedown. He's Go got the he's Go got the wrap up, and he's got it. That's Lobov's first takedown of the night. But again, as Andre Winner said before the fight, even if you get me down, you've got to keep me down. Yeah, exactly. And he just sprung straight up to his feet. He's like an eel. He's got about a minute and a half left on the clock now. Yeah, it's a better round for Lobov. Winner will certainly be feeling the um, the six rounds he already has in the bag. He's, he is breathing heavy actually, and you can't blame him. There's a lot of uh, a lot to fight in one night. It'll be sore tomorrow, but 15 grand would uh, certainly. Help yeah. it, those <laughs> aching muscles. Yeah. We're in the last minute. 15 grand, you have an aching muscles and a very aching head, I imagine. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think uh, you would go out and party tonight, wouldn't you? Would you take it all out with you? <laughs> nice Ooh. kicks. Yeah, he's... Uh, Again, we talk about how unorthodox Lobov is, but some of the strikes that Winner throws as well, like the little stabbing kicks to the front kicks to the knee and whatnot, they're not exactly in everybody's uh, textbook either. It's true. Nice right hand there from Winner. Follows it with a left hook. They didn't land clean, but they were good shots. Nice, nice. elbow. Again, that's what he does so well on the break, lands a shot just as they're coming out. And this one is scheduled for three rounds. There you go, we're going to the third round then. fighters exhausted it's been a long night for both of them especially for winner who's now entering what over 40 minutes of fight time that in itself is an impressive statistic it's, it's probably guys in the UFC who haven't fought that long in their career yeah he will have earned the 15 grand if he wins genuinely yeah. will have earned it if he gets it man that guy deserves it I mean so would Lebov though that fight of the night for me against Sally McLean yeah, it was a great fight. Taking everything to Andre Winner here as well. Oh, comes in with a big left hand. Landed as well. Winner looked a little bit stunned by it. He's recovered quickly though. Yeah, if, if Winner wants his prize, he needs a little bit more urgency in the third. On the back foot against Lebov, chasing him down. And Lebov looks almost like he did in the first round just I was gonna say do you know what he looks fresher now than he did in the second and third rounds against McLean I mean, that was a, a there was plenty of grinding and uh, you know tight work in the clinch and ups and downs and scrambles and in this fight it's not been so much of that winner looking for a single if you can finish this this would be big yeah but we know that both of these fighters are difficult to take down 
neither of them are known for the wrestling either, so. Nice turn for Lobov, he goes for that single as well. Winner using his wizard there to uh, help keep him upright on the fence. Lobov's gonna, oh, he breaks off with a nice uppercut again. Always on the break. Steps in with that straight right. And these will all start adding up again, the inside low kicks and while they, they might not be as um, thudding as the one shots of Lobov, he is landing more shots. They're effective strikes. Lobov hasn't really done anything significant in this round. He's loading up his shots, but he's not really letting them go. He needs to fire more, I think. And that's what we needed to see. Yeah, he stepped in with it on cue. Good timing there from winner, but Lobov's done a good job at it. His takedown offense really seems to have come on a lot. He's, uh, especially he looked at it against McLean, and as you say, winner not known for his wrestling, but you know the guy will have been training wrestling for years and years, and he's stuffing every takedown attempt. Granted, uh, winner might not just have that bit of power and explosiveness that he might have had earlier in the night. Yeah. This third round, we're still waiting for one of these two fighters to really take control. A takedown now would probably do it because there hasn't been a lot that's exciting so far. A couple of shots exchanged that were significant, but nothing that was as landmark as the lob off uppercut earlier on in the fight. The yeah, winner does this so well, a very good defence on the cage. Even back to his UFC days, it, you know, it's something he did well and it's obviously something he's continually working on because, you know, as he mentioned, that's, what pe that's how people do want to fight him. They want to stick him on the fence and, and grind it out. So he's, uh, he worked it diligently. And we're going to break in the middle. Who does this work out the best for? Uh, you would think winner, but actually Lobov has had lots of success out here. Nice low kicks. Lobov throws one and misses. Winner works the range very well, and that's why Lobov struggled. Yeah, we're back to the clinch. And uh, despite being... Uh, last minute of the last round for £15,000. Someone, they, there's a minute to go, and either guy can still win this fight in my eyes. Yep. Someone needs to needs a landmark, someone needs to really stamp their authority on it. One good shot, we've seen that Lobov has got the power to drop winner. One good shot from him, we know winner's got power. A takedown would even do it. Yep. Oh! Nice, that elbow just whisked past Lobov's face. Almost give him a clean shave. This is going to be tight on the cards, it really is. I mean, Lobov got a split in the... Uh, in his first round fight, or his semi-final fight, should I say, he got a buy in the first round. Them low kicks, that's what's done it for Andre Winner in the third round, and that might be what wins in the fight. Lobov goes running after Winner, he's throwing these big shots. Is it gonna be enough? I think he left it too late. He should have done that earlier on in that round. Absolutely, razor thin. Whoever gets the nod from the judges totally deserves his 15K. It's been a crazy all night as we knew it would be. We're gonna to have to go to the judges to separate them. 15,000 pounds is gonna to go to the winner. And we'll go inside the cage for the official decision. <laughs>